the ring, you see? Yeah. Hello, my beautiful Genovia family. It's another beautiful day, and I hope you're doing amazing wherever you are in the world. I am doing great here in Juba. Welcome back to our favorite channel, Tales of Genovia, where we learn about agriculture and agribusiness in Africa, African cuisines, and the stories of the Africa untold. This is your girl Joy, and I'm so excited to have you again on this two part series of our Zanzibar excursion. Guys, the journey has been quite enlightening and it's been amazing and this second episode just takes the insights to a whole new level. I think it's saffron but I don't saffron know. Saffron is not saffron. No. Yeah, saffron is to go in the underground. It's not saffron. Yes. This type oh. of lychee. Lychee. Yes. Okay. You know lychee? I've heard of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this is not really lychee. Okay. Yeah. What's the difference? Why? Well, yes. The difference is this fruit inside has the red seed. Mm. Yeah. So when you crush, you get the color. But lychee inside has the white seed, mm. white flesh. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, okay. the seed. So mm. this we call the lipstick or anato dye. Oh. Yeah, because this we use for coloring. All for coloring. Just for coloring. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So people can use it to make lipstick as well. Yes. Okay. You yeah. can look at him. All right. right now, yeah, he can show you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, so this yeah. one is not eaten. It's just used for for, for coloring. coloring. Yes. You see, it has the strong mm -hmm. color. It really has a strong color. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Lipstick. And then people in the life champion. champion. Oh. Sometimes I say people they put in the hair for change color. Yeah. They have red hair, then they jump. That is mm -hmm. very interesting. Yeah. So then this one, um, what if it dries? What if this one's dry? Can yeah, you still we, get the, the color? Yes, when it dries, you get the color. The color, yeah. okay. And then uh, we use for making red curry. Okay. Yes, so red curry from this fruit here. And it has a really sweet smell. Too. Yeah. It really has a very mm. nice smell. Natural lipstick. Yeah. No gas, no chemical. There we go, yeah. I guess. <laughs> So this tree we call the ilang lang tree. You know oh, lang lang? lang Yes, it produces all the flower. Yeah. Yeah, the yellow one. We call the lang lang. So, so we use for making tree. yeah, that one called. Yeah. Mm, so we use for making perfume and soap. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see the flower top over there? Okay. Yeah, if you have a strong eyes like me, you will see. Okay. Look at the yellow one. Yeah, top of the it. leaves. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. The small one. So those are the ones that they use to make perfume? Yeah, they use for making perfume and soap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you will see the perfume of this. Lang lang lang. Yeah, lang lang perfume. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 
So now I just want to take a moment to thank Solomon and the entire tour team for making my time at the Hakuna Matata Spice Farm amazing. These guys were just so nice to me. I'm even emotional talking about it. They kept on showering me with very um, thoughtful gifts. And yo, which woman doesn't like to be showered with gifts? Not me, definitely. And so Solomon, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate all the information. You're very um, intelligent, very knowledgeable about spices and the history of Zanzibar. I definitely will recommend for people to visit uh, Hakuna Matara Spice Farm again. Zanzibar sunglasses. Hey guys. Oh, I just got some new sunglasses. Yeah, it's really nice. Right, what do you think about that? Mm -hmm. My new set of sunglasses. Mm -hmm. And then plus some spices over here. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Wow. <laughs> yes. There is Yes, but this is the Robusta coffee. This is the Robusta. Yeah, Robusta coffee. It should grow very, very big tree, yeah. like you see. Mm -hmm. But Arabica, the small one, short. Okay. Yeah. Because this plant normal has a two root difference. Mm -hmm. Normal root is to grow in the underground and flow root like this, you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it will produce the beans, this we call caramel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It will start to produce the flower, you see the white one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is cardamom. Flower. So uh, this one is still not ready, right? Yes. After this how long still, does yeah. it get ready? Uh, it's going to be yellow when it arrives. Okay. And it will take uh, six months. Six months. To get yes. Ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes you see the black. You can chew. Very small. Very <laughs> small. You can chew. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. can chew you'll get mm -hmm. that flavor. <laughs> Sweet little. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. It's actually really sweet. Yeah. Like sweet sour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like sweet sour. Okay. And cardamom plant originated from India. Okay. Yeah, in India there are many yeah. types of cardamom, but here Zanzibar have only two types of cardamom. Okay. We have the local cardamom and the bush cardamom. Okay. Yeah, but this is the local cardamom. This it is the local. grow beans from the root. Okay. And this plant normally it grow uh, three or four meters of okay. Yeah, and plus okay. a year we harvest it. But first, it will take a two years to, to grow, grow to be up. big and to start. Yes, to produce the so beans. these ones are about two years old. This one, this, yes, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. okay. About two years and then old. after they've uh, matured, yes. how long do they continue producing if the plant? Yeah, how long do they continue producing uh, the uh, fruits? It will take uh, six or seven years. Oh, yes, wow. It's a long time. Okay. It's, there, it's a yes. good investment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. And when you wrap these beans, the skin is going to change color to be yellow. Uh -huh. yeah. Then you know that it's white. Yes, yes. After that, that, we harvest, we drown the sun. I see a bee here. Yeah. So these bees cannot do the pollination for the. Uh, uh, for the, the vanilla flower? Yeah. No, no, they oh, can't. Okay. Yeah. They can't be bees, butterfly. We have, but they can't to connect. It. Okay. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. And cardamom also used for the many things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The pilau rice used for cooking. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. The tea, milk, coffee, mix with this. Mm -hmm. So when I was growing up, we had this small plant and uh, near our school, and we play with it. I can't remember how it used to be called, yes. but like when you touch it, it kind of like falls yeah, as if really. it's dying. But yes. I, I remember so. It's called mimosa. Mimosa. mimosa, mimosa, mimosa. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Okay, that one. You see, you see, you see this one is kind of. You see, it's really. There you go. Yeah. We used to play so mm -hmm. much of this. <laughs> Aloe vera we use for the medicines. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's good medicine. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
all my problem. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the gel is good yeah. for all many skin really? problems yeah. and for hair for mm. women too. Yeah, really. Yeah. Make shampoo. Yeah. And sometimes women of the village aloe vera they use for making perfume and soap. Oh really? Yes. Oh yeah, soap yeah, yeah. I think so. Skin. Yeah, yeah. It's true. I've seen yeah. aloe vera infused uh, soap, soap for skin, but the perfume for next time in your body. But then I hear that this brown thing is actually toxic, right? I've yes. been told that usually when you cut aloe vera, yeah. you want to make sure you cut the edges yeah, and make sure that this brown thing goes out yes. before you can use yeah, it. Yeah, really. Do you know what is in that brown liquid uh, I, that I makes know. it toxic? I don't know. Oh, okay. Nice. So you've got a lot of aloe vera here. Yeah. Okay. So guys, after our trip around the farm, we are ending the trip with a very nice meal. It's oh guys, it's so good. Here, I'm almost done with my with my plate, but over here you can see some uh, pilau really infused with so many spices in it we've got some tuna fish over here and then some bananas cassava and then salad it's also known as kachumbari it's amazing it's really really good mm. the, the spices are just on point because you really have to make this trip you have to make the trip to the hakuna matata spice farm So here we have a uh, Zanzibar coffee. We have a pure coffee, just a coffee. In Zanzibar we mix coffee with the other spices. So this is cinnamon coffee. I mean coffee with the cinnamon. This is coffee tea. Here we have a cardamom tea, vanilla tea. Um, we have also here lemongrass tea, peppermint tea, uh, cinnamon tea and black pepper tea. Black pepper tea in Zanzibar we use uh, for the appetite. If you don't feel to eat anything, you boil pe uh, black pepper tea you drink and then you eat a lot. During the Ramadan, mm -hmm. when they attempt to eat, we, we made it porridge. Yeah. We mix it with the black pepper. Okay. We drink and then we eat a lot. Okay. Yeah. So here we have uh, another kind of tea here, like uh, mango tea, ginger tea, yeah, the cinnamon, yeah. cinnamon tea with vanilla, yeah. we have just a cardamom tea, and here we have uh, the best tea in Zanzibar. We call it tea masala. It's a mixture by uh, by many spices. So we call it tea masala. Masala it means mixture. And here for the rice, uh, for the pilau that you taste over there, we mix this kind of this spice. Garam masala, biryan masala, chicken masala, fish masala. And this is curry powder. This is curry but little hot. Paprika, turmeric, coriander. Yeah, here is the red curry for coloring. And this is a spice pepper, spice oil, ginger. Yeah, here is a chili, cinnamon, uh, biscuits, coriander, uh, coffee and lemongrass. <clears throat> here we have a saffron, white pepper, chili, and then we have a black pepper. We have the mix of the uh, sartini spice, we call it tandoori masala. This one, if you if you cook like banana that you taste over there, you make okay. this kind of spice in a chicken, fish, meat. So you can use this one, tandoori masala. This is cacao, cinnamon, ginger, stannis, cloves, and here we have a vanilla incense. So nutmeg is coming. Vanilla incense. That's that's that like you vanilla, cook for cooking. Yeah, in ice cream, cake, juice, oh. coffee, milk, tea, vanilla extract. My name is Solomon. I'm the tour guide spice farm, and our farm we call the Hakuna Matata Spice Farm. It is very big farm, almost is three hectares, and we produce many kind of spice. So if you come Zanzibar to visit, just come to our farm, Hakuna Matata Spice Farm. It's nice, it's better farm. <laughs> Guys, it's been a fantastic tour in the Hakuna Matata farm, spice farm here in Zanzibar. I've really had a great time. I've learned a lot about the different spices. You know, when you use those spices at home, you don't know how it's been grown. You don't know how it looks. 
um, you just get it in powder form or like the end product it's been a fantastic time being here so this is joy again tales of Junubia. please do not forget to share subscribe and comment if you do like this content and until then peace out Akuda matata. Akuda matata. Akuda matata.